Very warm greetings, everyone. My name is Manu Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and trainer at PD for 199. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce Nafis today in the session, who has successfully secured 90 overall in PTE today. So we'll talk to him, understand his journey, and learn some important things from uh, his journey as well. Nafis, thank you so much for agreeing to talk to me and uh, helping me to conduct this session. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, like after all the hard work and the help I got from you and finally I got an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, less stressed. I was really st stressing about the PT score. You know, it's really important for our, even for educational, PY, I mean, for everything, you need a P good English score. And then, yeah, I just needed that and I'm stressed, finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can understand, yeah, it is It is actually a stress, and especially when you were chasing the uh, PR journey in Australia. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's it's really important step for you. Like, if you got the English score done, there's 20 points for you sitting there. So you just right. have to catch and grab that. That's it. Right. We'll start off, uh, Nafis, with your introduction. And yeah. what do you do? and um, the purpose of taking PD examination and from where um, where do you belong to? Okay, so I actually am working as a technical analyst at the moment. Uh, it's, it's basically an IT sector. So the main reason for me to take attend this PT exam for obviously my permanent residency. So uh, I was, I'm hoping to apply for my uh, EOI, submit my EOI this year. And so that's why I was chasing PT. So I've started like a couple of months ago with you with some awesome classes. And then after with all the helps I got, uh, I just took a couple of weeks for me to practice myself. And yeah, with all the guidance I have with you over the phone and all the remote sessions, I mean, that actually helped me like all, and all the each and every step I got from you. So yeah, that, that actually helped me. Even the exam day, I remember I was calling you <laughs> to get <laughs> tips and tricks. Yeah, they, these things actually helped me. And yeah, it finally, uh, finally got the score. Really happy. Right, happy. right. Uh, where, which country do you come from, Nafis? I, I'm from Bangladesh. From Bangladesh. Yeah. Right, and uh, st straightforward to the point, man. What yeah. is your magic mantra or success mantra for achieving nine overall? Uh, just follow Manu. Just ask him <laughs> all the questions I you have. I don't believe you. I don't uh, believe you, but okay. Uh, ask all the questions you have when you're practicing because you'll f find lots of issues i found lots of issues all i did call manu trust in him that's it i just trusted in him that's it no, but still what are the tasks you specifically focus upon so for me uh reading was basically not in not much of an issue at the start, because I have to deal with people, talk to people a lot daily with the projects and all shit. So what my main thing was, uh, was practice, get into the flow. So, so if I start from reading on read aloud or repeat sentence, so I had to, the main thing, main hardest I faced with the pronunciation and also the fluency. I had to get my pronunciation right and the fluency. Accent doesn't matter. All that matters is the fluency. If you got good marks in grammar, uh, accent, I mean, no, sorry, fluency, pronunciation, content, you are good. And okay. if I go to writing, I just followed your uh, structure, copy paste, that's it. I didn't have to do much. Right. And if you go for reading, uh, I followed your grammar rules, to be honest, a lot. Uh, those things help me and reading practice, nothing else. As uh, you practice as much you can, the more you practice, the more it helps you. Right. And then yeah. well, well, people have uh, this mindset towards write from dictations and repeat sentences that they are comparatively difficult tasks in PT world. Yeah. So were they difficult for you also? And if yes, how did you tackle them? Well, at the start, of course. So what I did for write, for, uh, write from dictation and repeat sentence both, when I was practicing them, I used to note down any difficult word I see, I used to note down. And any use, uh, so, and also sometimes I, if I get any big lines, like nine, 10 seconds lines. So I found a strategy. And I, of course, uh, chat to you about those strategy. Like if I can't catch, catch the word, what I'm going to follow, how I'm going to follow, what I'm going to do, I asked you and I just followed that. Like say whatever I caught up and then just say, on, say on repeat sentence, whatever I caught up and then said, I, yeah, and PD is an important exam. And that I actually did it during my exam. So now um, uh, once, uh, so that actually helped me that, that give you marks uh, for 
pronunciation and also the fluency it doesn't give you marks for content but it gives you marks for pro- so you get something and right from dictation the more you practice the more vocabulary you you got, get i mean it's more from the point is practice and get get to know familiar with the words like yeah, the more yeah. words you know it's easier for you right now people have this myth in mind that pte is all about tips and tricks so uh, is it is that true in your case also do you also think that pte is completely tips and tricks based examination it's like 20 30% tips and tricks 70% is your practice the more you practice the more you do well like it doesn't matter how good are you in english mm-hmm. you need to practice a lot mm-hmm. i mean to get the like it's superior english like getting 80 is superior english so that's for that you need to practice a lot like say at least invest one or two hour every day of our life from our time every right. day and then practice the more yeah it takes like a couple of weeks a month maybe that will help you right and how much time did you practice uh, if you talk about daily basis did you have a timetable were you following yes actually uh, i actually was practicing say at least initially at least 2 hours uh, so i focus say uh, speaking and writing in one day another day reading and listening like one or two one or two hours doing that and then like last couple of weeks say last two or three weeks i was actually investing like three at least three hours for each sessions like uh, i practice 15 uh, re- fill in the gaps uh, 15 reorder something like that they say 30 repeat sentence 30 wow. right from dictation like that so i was following that that helped me oh, brilliant yeah brilliant of his uh, thank you so much for this session and uh, we are so proud so happy that you finally achieved 80 each with overall 19 pt academic exam we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors thank you Thanks Manu thanks